brute strength and blind rage. A whirling vortex of wild, uncontrolled destruction. Imprisoned in a cell, the Hulk tears at the steel bars. They twist, bend, break. Once again, the dark, destructive monster that lives within David Bruce Banner has been unleashed. The Hulk. It begins in the rural village of Pine Knot, a small dot on the map. But for Dr. David Banner, traveling under the name David Benson, it is the beginning of a nightmare. <laughs> and, and I hear the opposition's running on the promise of putting a chicken in every pot. Well, let me tell you. Them fellas got their fingers so deep in the pork barrel, them chickens is gonna oink all the way to the table. Give them a You got my vote, Bob. Now, I ain't gonna tell you what I'm running for. I'll tell you what I'm against. Corruption in government. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. The opposition is full of promises. I don't make promises. None that I don't keep, anyhow. What's going on? Bob Hyatt is running for mayor. That cuss ought to be run out of town. He's just fine for my money. Well, you spend your money the way you want. Me, I'm on the other side. And I say it's time the town of Pine Knot got a fair shake. And that's the platform I'm running on. A fair shake. A fair shake for Pine Knot and its citizens. No more raiding the treasury, spending foolishly, allowing gambling. A fat. Someone shot right. There he is. Down, man, down. Across the street, I see him. Duck down. You want to get shot? Get that assassin. There he is. In the alley. He went down the alley. He went up that alley, Chief. Simpson, get around and seal that alley from the other side. Come on, Maleska. There he is, Chief. Shoot to kill, Maleska. He's got his hands up, Chief. Take it easy. All right, you. No need to shoot me, officer. I was just... Don't you be telling me what not to do, man. Just walk forward and keep them hands high. I saw the man, the assailant. Shut he... your mouth. But I was chasing him. I he... told you, shut your mouth. Fan him, Molester. He's clean. Cuff him. Now, wait. I'm not the one you're looking for. Shut your mouth, boy. You're making a mistake, officer. The man you want is getting away. He's about 5'7". He wears Get him in the car. Now, look. My name is Benson. I just got here from... I asked you to shut your mouth, boy. You gonna do it? Once more, Benson, where's the weapon? I told you I never had a weapon. The guy with the gun ran up that alley and I followed him. Why don't you cooperate? I am cooperating. If anything, I'm trying to make your job easier. I Shut your mouth, boy. Where are you from? I came in from Rutherford, upstate. How? I hitched. Hitchhiker. Well, ain't that dandy. How much money you got? A few dollars. Two dollars and sixty-five cents, Chief. Uh-huh. You born in Rutherford? No. What was you doing there? That was as far as the last ride I had was going. You ain't even from this state, are you? No. You're vagrant. I'm not a vagrant. I'm just down on my luck. You're a I... hitchhiker, vagrant, and a killer. Who paid you to shoot Bob Hyatt? Nobody. I told you I saw the guy who shot him. Yeah? What's his name? How right. should I know? I just got into town. What's he look like, Benson? The assassin. About 5'7", 150, 60 pounds. He wears an eye patch. Shut he... your mouth! But I, I... Shut your mouth, boy! I don't want to listen to no lies. Gonna sign a confession? I didn't think this could happen in the United States. What? You ever hear of Miranda? Miranda? <laughs> listen to that, Maliska, Miranda. <laughs> Miranda who? You know what I'm talking about. You know my rights as well as I do. You're supposed to read me those rights. You're supposed to let me make one telephone call. You're supposed to provide me with a lawyer if I can't afford one of my own. Is that right now? Is that what I'm supposed to do, boy? 
Well, ain't that something? He'll get a taste of Dumphy before he gets Miranda. Lock him in the cooler, Maleska. All the comforts of home, Benson. Aren't you gonna take these handcuffs off? Chief says no. Look, why don't you cooperate? You must be kidding. All right, get in. You know what the Dumphy treatment is? I can guess. You're up against Jim Dumphy, one of the hardest cops in the state. They call him Bull. He don't get that name for nothing, and he won't stop at nothing to get a confession. What am I supposed to confess? That I wear an eye patch and walk with a limp? The man you say you saw walk with a limp? I was about to tell you that before Big Chief Standing Bull shut my mouth. Why? Nothing. Only but a few minor changes you could be describing Floyd Elder. Who's he? Floyd Elder practically runs Pine Knot. The gambling, the liquor, all the corruption. Only thing is, him and Chief Dumphy is best friends. I'm beginning to get the picture. Listen, Maleska, you've got to help me make a phone call. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Meanwhile, why don't you cooperate? Hyatt ain't dead, only wounded. Now, wait. If you plead guilty, I figure you'll get off for 25 years. Chance for parole in 10. 25 years for what? For telling the truth. You don't believe me either. I ain't heard the jury verdict yet, but I know Dumphy. See ya, boy. M Maleska, th that phone call. I'll see what I can do, but it'll take time. Why? I gotta wait till Dumphy goes home, if he ever does. Do I get that phone call, Maleska? <laughs> You get me, boy. Dumphy, not Maleska, not Miranda. Mind if I come in? I got a confession here, boy. You gonna sign it? Of course not. It ain't long. Listen to Paige. Now I'm gonna take them cuffs off so you can write. Now you just sign right there on the dotted line, boy. Dunphy, you must be crazy. Watch your mouth, boy. Now sign. No. Sign. No. Sign that damn confession, boy. <coughs> All right, if it's the way you want it. Dunphy. Dunphy. When I get out of here, I'm going to... Uh, How are you going to get out of here, boy? I got the key. Uh, I, I want a lawyer, a phone. Yeah, you said that before. Uh, uh, Maleska, Maleska, that you, Maleska? I sent him home long ago. Hello, Jim. How you all, Floyd? Elder. This the fellow you seen shoot Bob Hyatt, Floyd? That's him. You were in it together. If I hadn't shown up, you would have accused somebody else. You came in right handy, boy. Now you just sign. You know, I won't sign. You want some more dumpy treatment? You're making a big mistake. Tell you what I'm gonna do, boy. I'm gonna leave you here a little bit. And when I come back, either you sign this here confession or you got more or you know what. See you, boy. Come on, Floyd. Left alone in the cell, pushed to the edge of human endurance, David Banner seized with anger over the injustice of his imprisonment and the brutality of a man unfit to wear the badge of law and order. The rage rises, and from the dark, unreasoning chasm of his soul, the Hulk emerges, a wild vortex of uncontrolled destruction, tearing at the prison bars, twisting them, bending them, breaking them. <laughs> Blind in his rage, the Hulk tears the prison to pieces, obliterating everything in his path. The primitive has been unleashed, and there is no escape for the terrified Dumphy and Elder. Confession? I never saw a man so scared in my life. Just all spilled out of him. The whole story about him and Chief Dumphy. 
and what they try to pull on you. Done me in the hospital? Yeah, he ain't hurt too much, physically. It's his head, you know. He goes babbling on about this big monster. Clear out of his mind, they say. Oh, what monster? Some kind of Hulk, he says it was. He's crazy. There wasn't nobody else in that jail. I know it. This here's the town line, Benson. The bus ought to be along in 10, 15 minutes. Thanks, Maleska. Where are you going? I don't know. You ain't got much money. I'll get by. Here's a 10. Take the bus. I don't recommend hitchhiking in these parts. Well, you don't have to. Go on, take it. Anyway, it sure don't make up for what you went through in Pine Knot. Take it. Thanks, Maleska. Good luck, man. Thanks. David Banner, fugitive from himself, seeking an answer, searching for a cure, on the road to nowhere and everywhere.